Access television programs are created by community volunteers. The viewpoints expressed do not reflect the station's staff or board of directors. I'm Peggy Johnson. I'm Bonnie Anderson. And welcome to Where's Hartford, the only TV show that features the people, places, and events exclusively from Hartford. And the stars are you, the people that live, work, and play in downtown Hartford. We examine close up your passions for the city, your hopes, dreams, and the controversial. And we'll be discussing hot issues with our political, social, and business leaders. Our camera will be looking for you, enjoying Hartford's arts and entertainment. And we'll be interviewing famous people that visit and perform in Hartford, plus more. Whereas Hartford offers fresh and provocative television. We feature Hartford in a positive style that reflects the 90s. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. You probably saying to yourself, why should I come to Hartford? Well, I'll tell you, if you live, if you smell, if you like sights and sounds, you don't have to go to New York. Athenaeum's got one of the best collections of art in the world. Gilbert Stewart's Washington is here at the old state house as well as live cannon firing seven days a week. And the food, the restaurants, Frank's, Hot Tomato, Armorello Grill, Max on Main, you can't beat it. Shopping, people, but no. Eat your styrofoam dinners, stay home and rot. Because this is a great city and it's a great city because of people. It's a great city because the old state house and Hartford stage and the symphony and the park and the carousel. Want to ride the horses? Come down to Bushnell Park Carousel. Be part of your city and love it. Or stay in plastic dome and be mauled to death. I'd rather be in the city, because here's where the action is, and you get to make it the action. Hope to see you in Hartford. Hartford? Hartford? We don't want to go to Hartford. Oh, no, all Hartford has are insurance companies. It's too hard to find a parking spot. Oh, and it's so expensive. There aren't any good restaurants downtown. Oh, and it closed so early. There's no cultural events. And there's no bowling. There's no bowling. Hartford! Hartford. We, we don't, don't want, want to go, go to Hartford. Hartford? Why should I come to Hartford? New York is my kind of town. New York has wonderful theater. Great public transportation, museums, culture. Hartford? Why would I come to Hartford? Yes, I'm talking to you. If you're listening to the plan in West Hartford, we need provocative programming, slamming. As goes Hartford, goes the region. Political statements, visual facts we're seeing with the chance to voice opinions through a TV show. Emphasizing dynamics, don't you know? Income tax reform, housing education. You won't find it on any other station. Where's Hartford? Hi, I'm Bonnie Anderson. Welcome back to Where's Hartford. Do you ever question what brings life to Hartford? The museums, entertainment, great restaurants, wonderful places to shop, all of these things do. But the most important element is you, the people who work, live, and play in the city of Hartford. You are the pulse of what brings Hartford alive. And to prove that point, we took our cameras to the street so you could show us where is Hartford. I like it. It's beautiful. It's a pretty city, and it's lively, and it's fun. You know, no one's ever asked me that. What do I personally like best about Hartford? I like the accessibility. I like the compactness of, of Hartford so that I can come down here and come to the old state house and from the old state house I can go to many, many different things without having to get in my car and drive there. And I appreciate that. You've got the Connecticut River, fantastic resource. Uh, right. Many people are now starting to pay attention to it. Got a lot of work being done with riverfront and capture, right. and uh, it's a resource that I think is going to come into into vogue in the near future. I like the history of Hartford, okay. the old state house, and you see just Stowe House, mm -hmm. Mark Twain, the concerts that come here, stuff like this is happening now. I think Hartford is very historical. It can be very amusing. It all depends on who you're with. You have so much to do. All these eateries here, you have French food, you have Italian food, you have Mexican food, you have Jamaican food. If you love to eat, this is the place to be. <laughs> Thank you. 
for Hartford to really become the city of tomorrow, it has to become the city of everybody. And uh, it really has to uh, pull itself together, be a very inclusionary process, and uh, move forward together. sponsor, supporter of the idea of a uh, show like Where's Hartford. How does that fit in with I guess, your, your view and your vision of the city and the civic center? Mm -hmm. I, I think the reason that uh, Where's Hartford piqued my interest was uh, the real close parallel we have to doing shows here at the Hartford Civic Center. Uh, any artist needs to be promoted doesn't make any difference who that person is. If you don't say the artist is going to be at the Civic Center at a specific time, the ticket prices are such, and they're going to be on sale in, so, you know, in the place designated, then you don't get a response. I think what we've done in Hartford is we've put our little uh, light under the bushel for so long that somebody needs to take that bushel off and let the light shine. And the way you do that is to say, where's Hartford? What is it? What can we do in Hartford? How do we get excited about Hartford? I sit here thinking, if I had more time today, I wouldn't be working. I'd be enjoying myself in Hartford. And it's so easy for me to do. Where's Hartford is going to take the concept of entertainment in Hartford and things to do in Hartford right into the living rooms of a lot of people who really need to be reminded. Some will say, you know, that's right. I haven't been there in a while. Why don't I do that? And others will say, I didn't know that. Uh, here's a chance for me to learn. It's an educational process. Uh, but boy, it's going to be extremely gratifying uh, to see the response, because I know you're going to get a great one. <laughs> single men in Harford need to be a little more daring. What single men? Single men, be nice. Because women like men that are nice. They don't like mushiness, but they do like niceness, so be nice. I think they need to be a lot more creative and not be afraid to come up and talk to a woman and be a little vulnerable instead of just hanging out at a bar, drinking till 11 o'clock and then getting enough courage to come and finally talk to a woman. I'd like to say to the single men in Harvard that there's a lot of women out here and if you can get yourself to socialize and maybe not stay at the bar so much, go out to restaurants and just try a little harder to mingle and we'll try harder too. You can meet some fine looking, glamorous women. Um, to the single men in Harvard, well as an educated woman, I would ask them to please um, strive for better things in life. You know, it makes it pretty difficult as an educated woman growing up in Hartford. Not putting the men down, but just saying, you know, that I would encourage them to go out and get what they want out of life. What would you like to say to the men, the single men in Hartford? What would I like to say to the single men in Hartford? Okay, uh, let's see. Well, oh, probably not to hang out in the bars too much. Uh, maybe to get more spiritually oriented rather than just drinking and chasing women. <laughs> Become a priest or something. <laughs> what you like to say to the single men in Hartford? I like to say to single men that there's a lot of girls out there that do know how to appreciate a real man and are looking for a real man right now. What would you like to say to the single men of Hartford? Um, they should give women more respect and, and appreciate it as a good woman. <laughs> It's been called a melting pot for Greater Hartford. 
It's the downtown YMCA, located at 160 Jewel Street in Hartford, a short walk from anywhere in the capital city. The downtown YMCA serves city workers and residents with many activities. Men and women improve their health and fitness in the Wise Athletic Center. Members receive personal attention to their individual goals and needs. A free fitness consultation with a trained expert starts members toward their goals. Every downtown YMCA member has full use of our entire fitness facility. The YMCA has a 15-station Nautilus Cam 2 Center and 11-station Universal Gym for use by every member. Swimming is a year-round offering in the YMCA's 25-yard, seven-lane heated pool. Hartford's kids have fun in the branch building and its centers in Charter Oak Terrace and Stowe Village housing projects. The YMCA and Hartford Housing Authority work cooperatively at Stowe and Charter Oak to bring the YMCA to kids close to their homes. Hartford's kids take part in year-round activities. YMCA programs give kids a chance to be themselves and stay away from the temptations of the street. Funding from the United Way of the Capital Area and YMCA sustaining members lets the Y serve every child, regardless of ability to pay. Whether it's basketball, a sport invented by the YMCA, arts and crafts, or just talking and having fun, Hartford's kids get a chance to reach for the future in the YMCA. No matter who you are or how old you are, there's a place for you at the downtown YMCA. Come join us and bring the kids. Who will be the stars of the show? All of you people out there. Everybody that lives, works, and plays in Hartford, Connecticut. You know what I'm saying? Y'all will be the show. Y'all will be urged to come up and give y'all opinions on how y'all think y'all the city should be run. You know what I'm saying? We got to get busy. Not to just bring in the meat. Come on. Can I get everybody involved this time? Come on. It's all about where it's happening. We got to get everybody involved. Come on. This is Josh City. Come on, y'all three right there. Come on. Come on, throw your hands up. Can you do it? Can you do it? Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We got to bring it 16, you know what I'm saying? You can break it down whenever you want to, brother. I'm talking to you if you're listening to the plan and where's Hartford. We need provocative programming and planning. As those Hartford go to read this political statement, visual facts with me and with the kids, the voice, opinions, do a TV show, emphasizing dynamics. Don't you know? They come back to reform housing education. You won't find it on any other station. For the fact, you can bear with and watch our ideas. Feminist school business, mixed local issues and solutions for a blend of good where it's hot. Hope you attend, stay tuned in. Friend, the message we send breaks us 61 on a scale of 10. To me, ripping feeds the thoughts out of sight. Makes me proud to be a heart for sight. Highlighting the show for the night. Arts and entertainment with celebrity spotlights. You focus for the youth of today, plus characters from the capital that live, work, and play. Hey, it's the sign of a time, about time. My community was blind, but here's our chance. Let's shape and form. Stand up and act, don't sit and conform. Since you've got the joints, don't play yourself, so pick one. Where's Harper? It's the truth of your host. Where's Harper? Come on, y'all. All y'all ask yourself that question. Where's Harper? Where's Harper? Simply put, Where's Harper's a TV show about the people, places, and events here in the city of Hartford. We expect this to be 
show that the people here at City of Harvard will finally have some dialogue through. We want to know who you are, what you do, how you feel about your city, what you don't like about your city, and all of these things. And we're going to have this TV show strictly for you. Simply said, just stay tuned. We're going to hear from most about it. And we're just glad to be here. I'm going to turn it right back over to you. Here we go, here we go. I wonder what you people out there have to do. I wanted to let people know that this is a great city. And he stood there and he told them off. <laughs> well, I agree. And why don't we just take a look at that piece of work? You're probably saying to yourself, why should I come to Hartford? Well, I'll tell you, if you live, if you smell, if you like sights and sounds, you don't have to go to New York. Athenaeum's got one of the best collections of art in the world. Gilbert Stewart's Washington is here at the old State House, as well as live cannon firing seven days a week. And the food, the restaurants, Frank's, Hot Tomato, Armorello Grill, Max on Main, you can't beat it shopping, people, but no. Eat your styrofoam dinners, stay home and rot, because this is a great city, and it's a great city because of people. It's a great city because the old state house and Hartford stage and the symphony and the park and the carousel. Want to ride the horses? Come down to Bushnell Park Carousel. Be part of your city and love it. Or stay in plastic dome and be mauled to death. I'd rather be in the city, because here's where the action is, and you get to make it the action. Hope to see you in Hartford. Hi, and welcome back. For those of you who have just joined us, I am Wanda Gonzalez, and this is the hometown edition of Where's Hartford. With me today is my guest, Mr. Stash Millward, the person responsible for putting all of this together. He is, of course, the executive producer. Now, Stash, since this is somewhat of a glamorous women's special, I won't take up too much of your time. Why don't we get right into the search for the most glamorous woman in Hartford, as they offer their definition on glamour. Why don't you set this up for us? Okay, what I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll tell you that what we did was we went about the city of Hartford looking for the most glamorous women in Hartford, and we set up a special promotion that was a grand opening for a, a new restaurant at the time called Hot Tamales, and we invited about 50 young ladies to come down wow. and be interviewed on camera, and it turned out to be a, it was really exciting, you know, I mean, it was like I could Hollywood. imagine for you. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it was like Hollywood. I mean, the cameras, the action, and and, and everybody had such a great time. And um, from those interviews, we asked specific questions, okay. common questions of all the ladies who participated. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be doing a number of these glamorous women segments oh, throughout exciting. the city as we endeavor to do the hometown edition. Oh, wonderful! We're going to go out. You're going to go out. We're going to go out, and we're going to have some more fun. Um, but this is what happened. From those, from those interviews. We're looking for the most glamorous women in Harvard. Mm -hmm. What's your definition of a glamorous woman? Well, I think it's a state of mind. Um, it's from within. I don't think that glamour is necessarily uh, outward beauty. I think it comes from within. Um, yeah, that's about it. I think it's a state of mind. We're looking for the most glamorous What's your definition of glamorous woman? Uh, glamorous woman is a together woman. And to me, a together woman is a woman who knows what she wants out of life or is at least seeking what she wants out of life. Um, she doesn't settle for less than what she deserves. And she takes time to think about herself and puts herself together from head to toe. Do you think that there are glamorous women in Hartford? Yes, I do. I think I'm one of them. And you feel that there are glamorous women in the city of Hartford? Definitely. you think that there are glamorous women in Hartford? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You just have to look a little bit harder. Do you think that there are glamorous women in Hartford? Oh, yeah, I do. Do you consider yourself a glamorous woman? I do. 
We're going to be looking for the most glamorous women in our picture. What's your definition of a glamorous woman? My definition for a glamorous woman in Hartford would be someone who is open to people, does not think of herself as a beautiful person, but just expresses it and shows it. Someone who really knows how to explain herself to people. To me, a glamorous woman is someone who can be themselves, have assertiveness, yet not be so overpowering. Someone who is glamorous is someone who can be sophisticated, has an idea of what fashion is all about, yet not too...